Hello, today we're going to be doing commentary and gaming. What is the concept of this series? I honestly don't know. Just me talking about random stuff while I'm gaming. And today, for the first episode, we're going to be playing Earthworm Jim. Why? Because why the heck not? Most importantly, we're going to be playing the Super Nintendo version. Why? Because why not? Like I said earlier. So basically, this is the 30th, 20th time I played Earthworm Jim? I honestly don't remember. Oh boy, I forgot how it literally sounds, and the color looks different. But yet again, this is New Junk City. Oh right, the cow launching sequence, which basically is just launching the cow in the sky. Which, you can either do it by shooting, or whipping in the fridge. Also, why is it a fridge? Wait, how strong is a fridge? Wait, why am I even asking this? There's also a secret down here that I somewhat remember. And also, just saying, the reason why you are mostly going to hear Earth from Jim say yippee in this uh, episode is because in the Super Nintendo version, most of Earth from Jim lines are gone. He's normally supposed to say wee doggy whenever he gets a extra life, or whenever he gets a super atom, and he's just like plasma whenever he gets a mega plasma. So, basically in this version, all you hear him say is yippee most of the time. Another little secret right here, also the little sparkly circle majig, that's to tell you that you triggered a secret, and we'll see that secret later on in a little bit. Anyway, this part, it's... I honestly don't know. This part, you gotta perfectly time your whipping, but yeah, that's at least some stuff I know, since I'm literally the Earthworm Jim rookie. Despite me knowing some facts of Earthworm Jim, thank you Iceberg, but I'm literally the rookie. And if you're wondering, why did I not take the shortcut, aka the toilet, to be able to teleport to net that later area of the level, it's because A, this video would be short, and B, because I wanted to show off the rest of the level. Me not taking the shortcut is like that time where I literally found an Earthworm Jim VHS promo thingy that sold for $305 when I bid it $38, if I'm correct. I wonder what happened to it. Even though it never considered the it never had the pilot in it, so it's this point it's just a rare collector's item. Also, would remember on everyone during the time when the pilot wasn't found that we all thought that the pilot was in one of those promo VHS tapes? And I know many people would try to like find those to see if the pilot was in there, but apparently what, what I heard is it doesn't have the pilot. All it has is just early footage of the uh, show and also a trailer for Tremors 2, because why not? It's Earthworm Jim. But yet again, there was this ad right here of Earthworm Jim and Tequila Bottle, which reminds me of the fact that there's those little candy bug lollipops that you can eat, but you can't eat many of them since some of them have tequila in them, because why not? But yet again, it does ruin the fact that I actually was at a recreate the worm eating contest, but in, does anyone know how to literally make bug candy? Or, you know, get a bug, stick it in some sort of thing, and make it into candy, kind of like the little lollipops? But the question is, what is the most expensive or from gym items to exist? According to several people I talked to, they would most likely say Special Edition, as it does go for $300 to $700 on eBay. But I have seen Sega Genesis and Sega CD lots that go for thousands of dollars. I would probably rank the top three, either being Earthworm Jim Special Edition, the mail order figure, and most likely the Pocket Rocket vehicle accessory for the Earthworm Jim action figure if it's in its box sealed, since that goes for $350 sometimes. <sighs> but yet again, they are expensively rare to collect, even if they aren't complete. Also, one thing I kind of like about uh, Earthworm Jim 1 is there are different soundtrack variations. Since this game came out both Super Nintendo, Genesis, and several other consoles that I'm not going to really get into talking about, basically, their New Gen City theme all sound different. Literally, listen to the Super Nintendo version, Genesis, and Special Edition version, and you'll see what I mean. Even though everyone praises the Special Edition to be the most definitive edition of the game, since it comes with extra content. If only I was able to play that game. At this point, I don't know how long I've been playing Earthworm Jim for, like, maybe like for like 4 5 minutes, I honestly don't even know. One thing I find very interesting is that the Earthworm Jim 2 cover art for both the Genesis, Super Nintendo, Sega Saturn version of Earthworm Jim 2, they have extended art. Like, if don't believe me, literally look at the art for Super Nintendo version compared to Genesis Sega Saturn. You'll clearly see that the Super Nintendo version has a few other things in the background of the cover, while literally the Genesis Saturn has more stuff on it. 
But yet again, I did spend two weeks working on a project that I never uploaded to YouTube. But also, this does remind me, I should most likely try to do a full playthrough of Earthworm Gym 1, which I don't think is not going to be really possible, because the fact that I can't make it far in the game. The only part that I can make it in the game is either to brace, because of how hard that part is. If I'm lucky, I'll most likely make it that's not a problem and die. If I'm really lucky, I'll most likely make it to either level 5 or intestinal distress. But yet again, it's either doing that or reading the entire Resident Evil script. Which, just saying, if you ever plan to read a script based off of a game and it has different choices of uh, dialogue due to many different choices you can do in the game, it's extremely difficult and very long. How long? I don't even know. All I do, all I'm gonna hint is the fact that I all I know mostly all of Chris Redfield's dialogue, but Jill's hardly. Okay, and the reason why in the footage I never used any of my Mega Plasmas is actually I saved it for this boss fight against the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Billy the Bin. There we go. Billy the Bin. That, that, that's its name, right? So that, that, that's the name? I honestly don't know, but yet again, this boss fight is kind of annoying depending on what setting you're playing on. I'm playing on normal, so he's a little bit fast, but if you're playing on difficult, he's very fast. And if you're playing on easy slash practice, he's slow. I wonder if they did it for all the newbie players. Well, of course they did it, because it's literally the practice slash easy setting of the game. Anyways, so then basically, the other day, I was going through several of my Earth from Jim drawings, right? And I ended up finding this picture of Earth from Jim I drew, but he's wearing a hat. Well, I actually had one of Earth from Jim and Earth from Kim wearing different hats. As you can see from the footage, this boss fight, I struggled a little bit because I actually decided to shoot and not whip, even though shooting is a bit faster than whipping. Is that actually true, or did I just say that randomly? I don't know. But this boss fight is difficult depending on what setting you're playing on, like I mentioned. The Eater, he's really slow and weak in the easy setting, or Eater in difficult, he's extremely more powerful. Since, if I'm right, the how the difficulty health works is on easy, you take 5 damage, on normal, you take 10 damage, and on difficult, you take 15. Is that That's correct, right? But yeah, this basically, this entire fight is just pure dodging, as you can see. And now, this is basically the end of the Duchunk City level. Go, Ruby! Ruby! What do you think of this concept, where I basically just play games and just do commentary over them? When I mean commentary, I mean talk about the random stuff like I literally usually do. Comment down below if you think this is a really good concept. But yet again, I am going through another channel named Crisis for some reason.